my decorations are still up. This is my Christmas corner and um, I just feel so blessed. I like to keep my decorations up till at least New Year's. Honestly, I got my decorations up maybe about a week before Christmas. So I'm thinking it'll be up maybe another few days. Um, in any case, I still have boxes in uh, several of the rooms and still unpacking. Uh, you may recall that I was delayed in moving in and so I'll talk a little bit about that in just a minute but first just want to thank you for watching thank you for tuning into my journey um, it has been an interesting one I'm so grateful to the Lord and to NACA to the support of family and friends on my um, NACA journey and so I just want to um, just give you a brief update on what's been happening for the past month or so I did close on November 4th uh, the day before my birthday, yeah, and I'm um, still excited, um, really just about what's happening in my life. It has been exhausting physically and a little bit um, mentally as well. Experienced some delays with the movers that were scheduled. Uh, they literally canceled hours before they were to show up on um, Saturday, December 3rd. I had opted to move at the end of November because I wanted to get some work done here in the house, mostly some painting. Wanted to upgrade the kitchen cabinet, so I'll show you uh, that sneak peek as well. I had also had them replace uh, the bathroom toilets. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, so I had that done. Movers canceled last minute, threw me into a weird spiral. Had to scramble and find another company, which had to come out, do an estimate, and so that tacked on a few more days. Thankfully, I was able to extend the time um, in the in the prior property that I was renting. Um, someone was actually supposed to uh, be scheduled to move in, and they actually fell through, and so that worked in my favor. Um, because the moving can um, company canceled on a Friday evening after hours by text um i had to wake up early monday morning i woke up in a low-key panic because i rec remembered that i was supposed to have my utility shut off at that address so i spent almost an hour on the phone waiting in the queue so that i can get them to cancel the request to shut off services at the rental property so that was stressful between that and this being a very busy time of the year in my profession, it was a real, um, it was real stressful. <laughs> um, but anyway, I am just so grateful and thankful to finally be in my home. It ended up delaying me by another 10 days. And so I've been in the house now about two weeks. Um, great neighbors. Very friendly. There is an HOA. I know people think that all HOAs are evil. Thus far, um, the people in the neighborhood have been very friendly. The HOA even reached out, you know, things like that, to say hello, welcome committee, and all of that. And um, it's just a very friendly neighborhood. Um, I appreciate that. I keep to myself. Um, you know, that's just who I am as a person. Um, but in any case, so I'm just chugging along, unpacking boxes. And my strategy was to have the movers, um, every box that was labeled, which was uh, quite a few of them, but near the end, when you're packing, you know, you start off taping things up so nicely, putting your labels on. I was so tired near the end. It was like, hey, four flaps, closure, what label, or, you know, um, thankfully I did have different styles of boxes, so that kind of helped. But when the movers came, I had them put all the labeled boxes, of course, in the designated rooms. And for those that weren't labeled, they're in the garage, stacked, you know, a certain way near the back of the garage so I can still get my car in. It is a two-car garage, so that's helpful. Um, 
um, one side of my garage, I did make it a circuit for my exercise equipment because I got to get my life together uh, with these pandemic times. Um, but anyway, this is just what I'm doing right now. Slowly unpacking, putting things up, putting things in place. I'm waiting on furniture. Um, there's a huge backlog on a lot of things. And so my um, freezer, my new refrigerator actually is still on order ever since Veterans Day. And so it should be here in about a week or so. The sectional I ordered um, should be here in about another week or two. Um, I do, of course, have some furniture in here, but not the lion's share of my living room furniture. And then I've not selected a dining room um, furniture yet. So just kind of waiting because I want to get what brings me joy. So that's where I am right now. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. This is Sean the Divine Diva. Have a great day. Bye.